Hi guys, welcome back to True Timber. Today I'm going to be talking about my top five concerts. Okay, so I've been to a lot of shows. Choosing a top five was really, really difficult. They're not necessarily in order, they're just five of the ones that came to mind when I first thought of my top five shows. So the first one, probably no surprise to most of you on my channel who I know came here because of the 21 Pilots videos I posted, but 21 Pilots is definitely in my top five. They are amazing, I've seen them I think seven times now, and they get better every single time. There is nothing you can fault with their <laughs> with their live performance. It's incredible, it's energetic, it's vibrant, it's different every time. I went to the same tour I think two or three times and every show felt different. I think if I had to choose a favourite that I've been to, it would probably be their show in Oxford. It was the smallest venue I saw them at, it was with Jeremy Lutz opening and it was just a really fun show. It was the first one I'd ever been to on my own without bringing someone with me. I met some people there and it was just a really brilliant experience. I think one of my favorite bits was when Tyler started doing stripped down, stressed out, I think it was. Um, and it was incredible. And the piano version of Gonna, like oh, even thinking about it now, it's making me like feel things. So 21 Pilot, definitely in my top five for live performances. So something I haven't really talked about on my channel yet is my love for sort of heavy, heavier music. The second concert that stands out for me as one of my all time favorites was of Mice and Men playing the Pyramid Center in Portsmouth. It was Austin Carlyle's second to last show as singer for the band before he had to leave due to his medical problems. He actually collapsed halfway through the set so we didn't see the full show, but the bit that we did see was incredible. And not just, it wasn't just of Mice and Men who were absolutely amazing, but it's also the show where I first was introduced to Hands Like Houses, who I absolutely adore now. Um, we've seen them at the Joiners in Southampton, and that one was so close to making my top five because it was incredible. We were front row, it was mind-blowing and I love that band so much. There's a picture of me with the guitarist over here. I have three or four Hands Like Houses t-shirts. I love Hands Like Houses and it's all thanks to that show so it really means a lot to me. It's also the show, uh, the first show that I went to with my girlfriend so it means a lot like emotionally. That's where we sort of, I don't want to say fell in love because we didn't get together for ages after that but it was a show where like we realised it was a show where a sort of special bond was made. I don't know, it sounds really cheesy when I say it, but yeah, it's a really special show to me. And Crown the Empire were there as well, who make some incredible music. If you like Time on Pilot and you don't hate heavy music, Crown the Empire have this really eclectic sound. So a lot of fans of 21 Pilots got into John Bellion. That's how I found John. Um, and now I absolutely adore him. We saw him play the O2, I can't remember which one. It was an incredible show. Um, it was a present for my girlfriend. Uh, it was present, whatever. I bought it as a present for my girlfriend. I got uh, some really great seats. We sat front row in the first tier, I think. And it was just an amazing show. It was so weird. <laughs> There was mosh pits, there was a pineapple floating around, John saw us before the show and waved at us. It was just an incredible show that, you know, his live performance is amazing. The energy he has on stage, the way the crowd just feeds off his energy is unlike anything I've ever seen. 21 Pilots are amazing, but I've never seen a mosh pit to 21 Pilots. John Bellion is not music you mosh to, and I was up there watching people mosh. It was the strangest, surrealist thing, but it was incredible. His, I, I can't get over how amazing his performance is, like, I can't stress it enough. His vocals are incredible. There was absolutely nothing wrong, and it felt like he was making the songs right in front of us. Everything was brand new, everything was 
amazing. Again, something a little bit different. One of my all time favorite shows was a little show in Southampton, headlined by Trash Boat. Now I didn't go for Trash Boat and I could only stay for a couple of their songs. They were great and I really, really liked what they showed us. But the people that I went for was Broadside. I don't know if you've heard anything by them, but they are so incredible. Um, again, that there's some beautiful ukulele songs he does. There's a song called I Love You, I Love You, It's Disgusting. And oh my God, it's just the most beautiful song. I've interviewed um, Ollie from the band, the lead singer, two or three times now. And he is the most genuine, lovely man. And every time they come to the UK, I try and go see them. And uh, we have a little catch up and it's just incredible. They're, they've grown so much since I first saw them. I saw them the first time they ever came to the UK and I will follow them till the day I die. The reason this made it into my top five, um, other than featuring three amazing bands, is it actually introduced me to a surprise band that I didn't know were performing, that I wasn't expecting to see, who I absolutely fell in love with. Death by Shotgun. There's four of them. They play pop punk, sort of rock and roll vibes. I mean, it's an incredible eclectic mix. They've just released a new EP. You should definitely go check it out. Um, they were featured on they were featured in Kerrang! this year. They have done so much and this was a show that made me fall in love with them. I posted a review of the show, I talked about how great they were. My final concert that stands out to me that has to be in my top five was Imagine Dragons. I saw them in Birmingham. I can't remember the venue, but it was one of the arenas. It was a massive show, it was incredible. It was just after their Smoke and Mirrors album and it was just an absolutely amazing show. The lighting is kind of what sticks with me like to this day. Like the lighting was incredible. It is the most beautifully lit show I've ever been to. And 21 Pilots have a really good show, like really incredible. But for something about the show made it so much better like they didn't do anything like crazy like 21 pilots or you know other bands they didn't like crowd surf or get out there or anything they sort of stayed in their area there was a runway that they walked up but it was absolutely incredible one of the standout moments for me was a song called fall which they ended with it was towards the end i think and it was so beautiful so there was sort of orangey lighting and instead of confetti they had like foil leaves falling from the sky and it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I love Imagine Dragons and just it was the first time I got to see them live even though I've been a fan for a couple of years. I went with my mum and dad, my dad had never been to a live show before. Um, it was just a really amazing show. There's a part in the song Gold where Wayne, one of the guitarists, brings out a gold, like a fully gold guitar and the light shines on it in such a way and it's just, it was incredible and something about it, like, so many bands try so hard, I don't mean that in a bad way, but they do so much to get out there and get involved and get your attention and keep it and they work really hard, but that show made me realise that like some bands don't go to all that effort and they don't need to, like if 21 Pilots or honestly, if any of the bands I've spoken about today stood on a stage and didn't move, didn't do anything, just sang, I would be completely focused on them. But Imagine Dragons was the first show where a band actually did that. Like, they just stood there and there was a bit of moving and a little bit of dad dancing, but they stood there and they performed and it was incredible and I did not look away. So those are my top five. Like if you like any of these bands or if you think you can check them out. Comment below who your top five are. I want to know who you've been to see, who you think was the best of the best, and I'll see if I can catch them. I love to listen to new artists and find new things to love. Before you go, I want to just, um, I want to bring your attention to a charity thing we're doing. So me and my girlfriend Grace are going to be doing um, a 24 hour game thon next month. But for now, it would be really great if you could donate anything you can. So the link for that will be in the description. Guys, bye.